Hello everybody, Stefano Narducci tuning into you live here and today we're looking at the John Deere 4066R snow tractor with the Norman Hybrid 82 inch on the back. Okay, now I'm gonna start pointing off things on the machine right now that makes it a snow tractor in particular. You got your front mount weights on the front there. There's 10. We get the extended mounts to get that extra weight to counter the blower on the back, right? So essentially you want the same weight on the front as you do on the rear to give it that nice balance as well as good traction. As you can tell here, we got Nokian tires on the front and back, Nokian snow tires. We got um, front mount fender flares. We also got rear mount extended fender flares. Here's your Norman 82 inch blower. Best inverted snow blower in the game for this business model. Rookie rods on the back. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty. We just used it for training. Now what else makes this a snow tractor? You got your beacon, of course. You got your mirrors. You got your front lights, your rear lights. Okay, you got your top exhaust here. This is pretty cool feature um, that I recommend you get in all your machines uh, for snow in particular with uh, the top exhaust as opposed to the exhaust coming out of the side here. It'll melt your tire. Well, not melt your tire, but it'll definitely melt your fender flare. So you don't want that. And that's pretty much the rundown for the outside that makes it a snow tractor, right? The biggest thing is those uh, front mount fenders, uh, the rear fenders, uh, extended fenders, sorry. Um, you obviously want the, the weights on the front. You want those Nokian tires. You want the cold start package, of course, all those lights, mirrors, um, all that good stuff. And of course, your beautiful Norman 82 inch on the back. Now, getting into the back here, right up here, you got a hydraulic accumulator, that cylinder right here. And what that cylinder does is it absorbs the shock for this large blower on the back when it's driving down the road um, so that you don't bust a three-point hitch or blow an arm out in the rear end. So that shock is essential if you are going to be running any sort of inverted snow blower that weighs over a thousand pounds. This blower is about, I think, 1,200 to 1,500 pounds, somewhere within there. I don't remember the exact specs, but it's well over a thousand pounds and you do need a hydraulic accumulator. It is absolutely essential um, if you're gonna be running an inverted snow blower. So we'll take a look at the back here. Obviously you got your PTO hooked up to your uh, snow blower here. And there's the hydraulic accumulator. Like I said, very essential or else you can't run this system. You're gonna wanna run your blower on all the top links. See that? Top, top, and then right here on the top. So what that basically does is it gives you just the right amount of uh, leverage when you're lifting the blower up. And of course it tightens the blower as well a couple inches, almost up to like six inches if you put it on the top setting for each blower, more towards the back of the tire. So it brings it in tighter, which is what you always want. The tighter you could get the blower, the better. Now you got this nice little tool here that comes with the Norman. Uh, that way you could, um, when you're coming up into your, your drive shaft here, if you gotta change sure pins, both your sure pins are gonna be here. You could also twist, with the end of this wrench, you could twist the drivetrain um, so you could get your hands in there to be able to replace the pins in the back. Um, this is basically where the whole, the whole um, chain runs on the drive shaft through here. It's also nice and covered in with the chain cover, which is absolutely gorgeous. Norman does such a good job. Now, you also got your shovel in the back here. Um, now, we custom fabricated these, and I'm telling you right now that this is absolutely mandatory. Um, don't think you're using one of those pocket shovels that you could hide in the cab and uh, think you're gonna unclog your blower with that because it's not gonna happen. I promise you right now, you are gonna be battling. So, we got these nice tree spade shovels. They're really, really heavy duty. And what we did was we welded um, this, uh, this uh, clip with holes in it here, and then we hardwired these clips in wrapped it around the piece of steel with the holes in it. And basically what we do is you unclip it. See that wire? So we don't ever lose the clips. You know how operators could be sometimes. It's quite easy to lose stuff when you're freezing outside. And then you do it on the other side, same thing. It's got the clips and you just take your shovel off. You come around to, 
come around to the chute back here and just start hammering your shovel in there to unclog it. Now if you can't unclog it from there, you could open up the back of the blower right in here. Might as well do that for you guys, give you the full presentation. Unhook these clips like so. Latches come out like this, like this, and like this. Okay, we got it open. It was a little bit tight. You can tell it's never been open before. Got obviously a little bit of dirt and debris here. We were shooting some rocks with it for training day by accident. A couple guys sliding on the gravel. But basically what you got is your impeller here. So when you pull your shovel off the back of the blower, you're gonna to wanna to stick your shovel in here, unclog it. Sometimes you might have to open up the whole back end of the Norman where the impeller is and start unclogging it from there. So Norman, I must say, absolutely genius. They're owned by Metal Plus. And you can tell these blowers have came a long way in the last few years. The design on them is absolutely brilliant. So um, yeah, you got your sure pin entry right there to change your sure pins. You got your back door entry if you got to unclog. This is custom, which I highly recommend you do. Um, uh, I've tried it. I've tried pocket shovels. I've tried using the jack stands um, when you clog, and nothing beats uh, the hard metal tree spade. So just something to keep in mind. Rookie rods, absolutely essential too for all your operators, as mentioned. Okay, now what else could I tell you about this magnificent blower? It's got the rubber skid shoes with a spring on them to maneuver up and down. And it also comes uh, stock with a tie bar cutting edge. Not stock, actually, that was an option. You could get it with stainless steel, um, you get it with HMV, you get it with poly. Um, I think there's rubber too, so a couple different options for you there. You got your hydraulic pump right here, and then you got your hydraulic cylinder right there. So all together, four hoses, and that's what it's gonna look like for you there. Okay. Now we'll hop in and inside the machine here. Before I hop in, I wanna show you the most important part that you're gonna need if you're gonna be running a snow tractor. And this goes for all your tractor, not just the John Deere 4066Rs, the 6Ms, uh, the 5s, uh, the, the Kubotas, anything. You're going to want a toolbox. Um, in my earlier stages of the business, of course, I was I had a little tool bag with all my tools underneath my seat or in the back of uh, my seat, and it doesn't work well. You want a toolbox, and you want just a pair of gloves uh, inside the machine, and that's it. So in your toolbox, which we custom fabricated, my operations manager slash um, mechanic, Eric, custom fabricated that bracket on there and then um, mounted these toolboxes as, as so. So basically what's in here is you're gonna have a couple of things. You're gonna have your hammer, just in case. You're gonna have your adjustable wrench, mandatory socket wrench, mandatory as well. And then you're gonna have your bag full of sure bolts for the blower, which I showed you where that is. The socket that matches for these bolts Okay, and then the same thing for the PTO, when you blow the PTO bolt, okay? Which I'll show you in a second here, just so you know. And then also some spare clips, because you know, operators will be losing those on the regular. So that's everything you wanna keep essential in your toolbox as such. Very simple, very easy, and uh, that's the way you want it. Effective and efficient. So if you look right in here, this cover comes up as such. And then if you look, you see that bolt running right through there? That's your PTO bolt. Now, if you um, hammer some good snow or rock or something that causes the sure pins to break and causes the PTO, it's usually something sort of significant. And I call it the two for one. You don't want to be doing that. It kind of sucks to change both, but it does happen. I just want to show you our beautiful deckling we got on our tractors there. 705 baby there's our um, social icons this is tractor 13 northern snow got the northern snow in the front there's some of the fleet down there we're missing a few tractors anyways we'll dive into the machine show you a little bit how the machine works so right here we got our park and brake of course that's your diff lock non-essential but it's there this little spindle here um, is a valve uh, for the three-point hitch so that you could control the pressure of how quick the blower goes to the ground. 
So uh, based on how you adjust that, it'll either slam to the ground or it'll bring your blower to the ground gently. Or if you want a little bit faster, you can put a little bit faster. So there's your valve for that. Here's your brake, of course, very straightforward. Um, here's your uh, seat pressure for your air ride seat. As well as we got our different gears here. C is gonna be your highest gear. B is gonna be your medium gear and A is gonna be your lowest gear. Just in case for when you get stuck, put it in B and A four-wheel drive hammer your diff lock and maybe you could get out right um you got your 12 volt, 12 volt outlet very basic all in here now you're gonna hop in the seat now this is something custom to northern snow that we did now you got your phone mount absolutely essential so that you're not on your phone mount your phone in there so it's in there the whole time you can see it as such and then right here we got our custom tablet mount as well so you could put it any way you'd like pull it in a little bit and you got your tablet here phone here nice and easy setup very simple and it's what you want so cb radio mandatory for optimal communications if you're running a little bit of a larger operation now I'll dive into how everything works here. Of course, you got your uh, rear wipers, you got your uh, lights for the front and the back, your extra lights, um, you got your beacon up here, you got your PTO, that'll turn your blower on and off, your PTO on and off, power takeoff. You got your auto throttle button here, cruise control settings up here, and then uh, your max forward as so. And then you also got your auto PTO here, which you wouldn't use. So we run auto throttle when we're driving on the road. Um, and then of course, when you're doing driveways, you're gonna wanna turn your throttle all the way up as such and not use auto throttle. Auto throttle is just for driving around. So you want your full power when you're blowing snow. If it's a lighter snowfall, you can maybe get away with three quarters throttle. However, that's that. Now we are running uh, all our machines as such. So basically, as you could tell with these icons, when you adjust um, this button here, what it basically does, if you have it far to the right like this, when you let your feet off the gas, cause it's a hydrostat, right? You got forward, reverse, forward, reverse, and that's it, right? You don't have like, you do have brakes, but essentially it's nice to have it set right on here because if you have it all the way to the right, what your machine's gonna do is stop on a dime not on a dime, but it'll stop very quick without you pressing the brakes. Um, I recommend running it wherever you're comfortable, anywhere between the middle setting and to the end. So what's gonna happen is if you run it all the way over here, when you let your feet off the gas, your machine's just gonna roll and it's gonna keep rolling till eventually it stops. Because it's a hydrostatic, which means it's driven by hydraulic pressure, um, when you have this setting turned on as such, your machine's gonna stop very promptly. Now you want this because you want your operators to be safe, right? You don't want it on this setting here and then they're rolling through a house or a garage door or hitting a vehicle, right? You want them to stop on a dime. So I set it like that until they get comfortable, they can maneuver it wherever they want from here to here. Some people like it here, here, and I personally for all new operators would like it as such, right? That way you're not hammering the brake and relying on the brake all the time using two feet to operate which is kind of a little bit of a pain unless this machine was clutch driven which it's not right so with that setting on that's very important you want to keep that on it stops the machine on a on a dime it really does um over here we got our our blower controls right that'll turn the chute side to side and then of course this right here will uh will uh turn your your chute up and down like this right so the top of your blower will go like this and then this will control your chute going side to side like that Okay, right here is for your blower to lift your blower up. Up, down, up, down. We'll lift your blower up as such. This is for a loader. Um, we took everything off. Uh, this machine came with this extra button. Somebody must have uh, uh, had some sort of front mount blade on the front of this. However, um, our loader uh, stick here, we take off the big handle that comes with it and we just cap it like so. That way it's nice and clean. Now I'll bring you over to the controls in the front here. Signals. You got your four ways, you got your lights on and off, suicide knob, uh, that's operator preference. Some of your guys may like it, some of them may not. You got your four wheel drive, that's four wheel drive, that's two wheel. And then of course you got your wipers, push it in if you wanna uh, uh, eject, um, of course, some uh, washer fluid. And then got your horn, 
like that. It's got a pretty mean horn on it. And uh, that's pretty much the rundown inside the John Deere 4066R. I'm not really missing a whole lot. This is uh, the optimal tractor that you want to run for snow operations, especially for your rookie operators. You don't want to throw them in a big 6110 or a 5R or a 130, like any of those big machines, because if you don't really know how to run a clutch, you're going to have a difficult time. And, and I highly, I highly don't recommend that you do that. So for any of you new operators, you're going to want to put them in a John Deere 4066R or a Kubota L6060, super user-friendly super easy and um it's just the ultimate snow tractor in my opinion they go 30 to 33 kilometers an hour on the road these beasts uh, which gets you around pretty quick and they will swallow driveways you put this machine on a tight route and you'll have no problem swallowing 150 to 200 houses in about four to six hours no problem at all if you put it on a tight enough route um i guess i could say there's the sun shield there got your heat course defog radio central you want your guys listening to tunes being comfortable you could open the back door as such see everything that's going on in the back and that's pretty much the rundown as i was saying guys very simple very straightforward machine and definitely what you want all your new operators using um, until they get comfortable and then you could possibly move them up to a big rig but uh yeah thanks for tuning in this is stefano narducci owner and operator of northern snow in sault Ste. marie ontario if you guys have any questions please message me for now take it easy